Oof, guys, lately I've had really tough times trying to talk. Trying to talk? Just like in yeah. general. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'm just like, shur, 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 shur. I start tripping on myself. When you can't talk, yeah. just sing. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just sing, honey. When, when words fail, <laughs> let the song come from your heart. Welcome back to oh, another hey, episode. Hey, 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 oh hey, my god! See you there. We have <laughs> <laughs> the legend returns, what? Chris Olson. Hello, Welcome back. hello. Thanks Our, for coming thank you back. Guys, thank you guys for having me. <laughs> You're such You're a, just hit. Such a delight and a hit. Yes. It's only been like two minutes yeah. since <laughs> I was last year, so so happy to be back. Thanks for coming back. It's You're truly home. an honor for us. I do feel yeah. home. I mean, yeah. yeah, the last one did go so well. It Everyone went so well. gagged that you asked me if I were a bottom. But <laughs> <laughs> I think And people still tell me, like, wow, you're friends with him. Like you grew up with him. I'm like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, finally that word is out. Finally. That, that I think know. Also, we grew up yes. together. <laughs> I think also what people didn't realize just because the TikTok clip went viral, if you didn't watch the like, if you didn't listen to the whole podcast, is when you're asking me that, that's while, while we were playing the Whisper Challenge. So like, I wasn't supposed to know that that's what you were asking, but it looks like you're just asking me that question yeah. oh, the, and I'm yeah. reacting in that way. Yeah. The but, bottom question? Yes. Yeah, like... I thought it was grabbed just like a quick uh, clip, so it doesn't it doesn't explain that you're playing a game. So yes. it just looks straight up that you're like, so Chris, are you a bot? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. And, and I thought I, I was made that ge- clear. guessing it wrong, which is why I like yelled it back at you. <laughs> so it just like it, and it, it was, was a really good clip. <laughs> See, oh, great, that's good. So they liked it. I'm they, like, I didn't read all the comments. They liked it. They liked okay, it. Okay, good. Yeah, it was some people, entertainment. Some people were shocked you because it I seems like that. you're asking it out of the like blue. They're the like, only thing I asked. <laughs> they're like, my God, why did she just, just I'm very ask that open out of nowhere? And I like to know everything about everyone right away. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's just and we didn't know that about each other um, growing up. No, we know? didn't talk about it when we were eight. So. It's a new fun fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh my yeah. God, I'm, I gotta catch up, you know? Um, we evolve. You just got back from uh, Con Festival. How do I say oh. this right? How does, what's the proper way? People say it. Can. 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 I just say can, but that's probably I think that's the way. Is it a film American. festival? Can's film festival. It's a, it's a film festival. Yeah. We'll be there someday for our film. <sighs> yes, mean, for Daryl. Daryl's gonna be yes. in the right. craziest movie of all time. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you guys have never been to a crazy event before. You but, know? That, that's <laughs> but not like, the movie That's ones. insane. It was totally insane. I, it was very much like, the thing is, it was so quick. I was like, it takes two days to get there from LA. Well, 24 full hours yeah, to where, get there Yeah, where is it LA. again? Is it in uh, It's in France, France the yeah. south coast of Did France. Did somebody fly you out there? Yeah. Shut so up. So it was Bro. like- Who's more successful than you? Oh, I like you. I don't no. know. Like, like, Dude, we've, we've never been. Oh, nobody's ever blown me out there to go to the absurd. festival. Right. Okay. Uh, bring in your soak Grammy in. or something like no, that. No, I don't know. Anyway. It, it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it takes so long to get there. So I was really only like in can for like two full days. And then I had to fly back and it, like I had to go to work the day I got back basically. So it was so quick. But I tried to take as much time to just be like, this is amazing. How fun is this? Like, I'm I'm so grateful for it all while I was there. But like this, the, the stuff like that just goes so quick. In and out. You know? Yeah, that's I, I know that feeling from like touring and stuff. Yeah. Like, you get to travel the world. I was like. Yeah, when you tour. We landed you pro- at three in the morning in the bus and right. I get to the hotel and then I'm in that city that I don't know where I am. And then you wake up and you're like noon and you're like where where are we you, and then you have a show do you ever you like leave. explore the city a lot of times on tour you have like one day in that city right and i'm so tired from rolling in at 3 a.m yes, yes. that i sleep all day right. and I'm i would so explore pooped. i would, would try explore. yeah i explored it. oh you did explore yes i know i, I also see. thought like oh i'll do this again someday like I'll do it next time. Right. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> and like right. the most I would explore is like me and Daryl would go to aquariums or something. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. But it's exhausting. And I got shit on by the dancers. They were like, you oh. never come out. I'm like, okay. You're like, well, you're then you would, try, you, right. you would try. You would try and you'd be like, Honey. this sucks. Yeah. And, and I'd, I'd be like, like yeah. oh, my voice is it's raspy. Because you're like in the middle of nowhere so right. most of the time. Like 
Milwaukee. You don't really, you don't really yeah. need to go out. I <laughs> In would a try, bar. I would yeah. try to go to like right. um, kind of the best local restaurant with um, yeah. her manager, Tommy Bruce. They we would just feast. feast. Right. Yeah, I can't f- go out yeah. there and just eat and right. get flat. Like, I can't do it. Well, because also like going out, especially when you're on tour, is probably not the most like calming experience in the world because like people are going to see you and you're, yeah, you are, famous. you are famous and it is known that you are in that town yeah. at <laughs> yeah, that yeah. time. It's like your name is on like a billboard somewhere. Do you get a lot of um, people asking you for pics? Yeah, I would say I do. Like, I, you know, it was, <laughs> I, it's funny. I was on a date um, last weekend, Saturday, Ooh. and it was our first time like going out somewhere together. We just went Ooh, to like the pier at, in fun. Malibu. Um, and he was, he was kind of like unaware that of, of my like presence on social media, I guess. And so like one person came up to me and he was like, oh, wow, I had no idea that was a thing. And then a few more, and then a few more, and then, then people start started taking up. pictures of us. And wow. he was like, "Oh, oh, okay." And oh, I'm like, "I'm so sorry, days. I'm so yeah. sorry," because you're like, "I like I've gotten kind of used to it now." And again, I'm not at a level where it's like overwhelming, and I'm like, "Please stop taking yeah. photos." <laughs> but I, it's just kind of like, "Oh yeah, of course I'll take a photo with you if someone comes up to me." But I, I forget that if someone who I'm just meeting, like. Is they have to of, sit and watch. They kind of have to. They have to sit and watch. Yeah, Some I would f- love like a da 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 TMZ. Chris Olsen freaking out. Pure Malibu. <laughs> Stop taking. <laughs> I'm on a date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love life. Oh, yeah. You see me like jump off the pier into the water. <laughs> <laughs> like I swim die. away like a dolphin. <laughs> <Too much. laughs> yeah, it's weird, and it takes a certain person to handle that. You know, it does. Like there, are, I, I, I get why. It's 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 a really hard balance because I always feel like there's no reason I should be like telling people no for a photo. But then sometimes I am really like sometimes it can make you uncomfortable and oh, you're just I with was... your friends and you're like, I'm just trying to have a day with my friends. I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. You know, were you with us when we were in Vegas and we were in the tree restaurant, the forest restaurant. Yeah. And we, it was rainforest a, it was, cafe. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> you were in a rainforest cafe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we were. Oh, we're just, we were hyped. We were like, we were like this yeah, place dude. is magical. Wow. It's like Disney. <laughs> we're in the rainforest. So, we love and we nature. had that like sure. that you um like like a bo- big booth. booth. Yeah, and I was deep in the middle. And of course. a whole squad of cheerleaders came up to us, and I'm uh, mid bite. This is Billboard mid-bite, Awards. Mid right? bite, like. Right. <laughs> and they were like, can we get a picture? Like, dead serious, not excited. Just can we get a picture? Yeah, Ooh, and I'm that's sitting the in pen the pen middle of my cloud, family. Right? And I know they don't know. They're like 14. And I was like, yeah. yeah, if I could just like finish this bite and then I'll come right out and I'll line up for all of you. And yeah. I like, did it. But yeah. I, my parents were like, at that point, they were like, all right, this sucks. Like, <laughs> There's also the, like a certain kind of. But it was great. Yeah, there's, We asked for it. Rainforest yeah. Cafe. Rain, Rainforest you Cafe. were at Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> at the end of the day, it was your fault. Like, Come on, kids. Um, <laughs> but I will like there is a kind of energy that someone will come up to you with. That's like some of them are much more comforting. And then other times it's like uh, it, it can be like a little it, it puts you off a little bit. Yeah. If someone's like, can I just get a photo? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or yeah. sometimes if you can feel someone really like uncomfortably asking, it makes me uncomfortable too, because I'm like, wait, are we both uncomfortable here? <laughs> like what's we going on? Like I'm, I'm, I am such a, I mirror people's energy so quickly too. So if someone's like, yeah, I'm like so scared to meet you. I'm like, am I scared yeah, too? I'm scared now. <laughs> so are yeah. we all? The craziest thing though is my husband worked with Robin Williams and said that mm. that dude as famous as he was in a restaurant mid eating, like loved to get up and take pictures with people. Oh, that's so beautiful. And was the nicest person to ask for a picture and loved doing it. And Daryl yeah. watched him in awe and was like, wow, you're the coolest guy ever. And when yeah. he told me that, I was like, well, I can be the coolest girl. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Honestly, like I feel like I just try to always at least treat people yeah. with kindness. Yeah. It's like, unless, unless I feel like a boundary is being broken, yeah. I'm like, of course, like let's, and sometimes I have experience where someone will come up to me and they'll want to take a picture and their hand will be shaking. I love and that. And I'm like, I go, I'm I'll like, take the phone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I got, I got this girl. Like, Let's nice. I'm like, I'm like, don't yeah. worry, honey. I got, I'm better at taking yeah. selfies. Yeah. 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 Like, and then you give them options. And then yeah. you, or when a friend's taking a photo, I asked, I'm like, was that good? Like, do we need more options? Yeah, yeah. I'm you like, know, wait, because it. I yeah. know when I've taken a photo with like a really famous person or been scared, you get like one or two and they're bad. And I'm like, 
that won't be our experience. That won't be We're going to yeah, do a photo you, shoot somewhere around. Yeah, Th- like, and then again, time. sometimes we don't have time, but like, right. yeah, it's that, that's what I feel the like. The best thing you could do too is if someone comes up to you and is like, oh my God, my daughter loves you and the daughter's not there. What I do is like a lot of dudes on my set, like who do lighting or something, mm-hmm. would say like, my daughter loves you. I'll be like, give me your phone. I'll give her a video. Yes. And they remember that shit forever. Yes. Like they come up to me on another set and they're like, you made a video for my daughter. Yeah. I don't know why they're Southern, but. <laughs> <laughs> at the end. <laughs> and I'm like, hell yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, and I'll never forget And I'll that. never forget you, <laughs> Megan like, Trainer. <laughs> Thank you for being there. I'm for- like, yes, I did. God, I'm- <laughs> and then you turn Southern too. Yeah, yeah. Now I just have uh, one conversation comment on your uh uh, trip to can festival right this is an amazing tiktok you got the slow-mo you don't know this one me like (laughs) no i do slow-mo action here i enjoyed it thoroughly i love the i got a problem with your bow tie you don't have friends um no one wanted to fix your bow tie (laughs) you're one of those slow motion cameras at the can film festival in france you don't have friends how it turned out i don't what is that I no one's ever pointed it Wait, out. Wait, no, I saw what? this. And what I is going on? I saw tie. this and I didn't see the bow tie. I didn't now see it either. Can see now all I can tie. see it. Now, uh, this might be, I was in a fraternity in college, okay? We were yeah, very, very particular this? on our bow ties and my dad boy. always fixed my tie. <laughs> That's Where, why. What happened? I don't have many friends, I guess. <laughs> no, I, not even the people filming go, let me just do a I quick know, adjustment. my God. At the end of the day, this isn't my fault, and I have a lot of other people <laughs> this to blame. This is your fault. Listen, Whoa. I was looking at your booty, honey. I was looking at your face and everything else. I didn't even see it. I didn't see the bow tie either. <laughs> Now I can only now the see the whole bow tie. video is ruined. Did anyone comment bow tie? No, no. like that only was definitely. Ryan saw it. Why I I don't I didn't scroll too many of the comments, but that oh bow okay tie. now he's commenting it. <laughs> That's just like now everyone's gonna. That see is the bow craziness. Tie. That is oh, such no. a crooked bow tie. Maybe it was a style. You should. Say I really that. was like I was so lost. You look stunning. You look though. so good Thanks. though. Thanks. Just look at that. You have a goddamn. I, <laughs> it's literally. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It was a crazy car I do ride. Have a cape. I don't think anybody noticed. And then everyone, everyone was. I like, won't even comment. I'll just leave. It. I'll leave it be. Everyone was like, "Wow, we had no idea he was so short." I'm like, <laughs> "Oh what no!" Are you they about? said short? that. Yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, you're short." I'm like, He's "Well, a short one, king. one, Whoa. when you wear a long jacket like that, it makes you a little shorter." And okay. two, yeah, I'm five eight. I'm a short king. I, I wouldn't consider king. you short. I'm six two. And but I'm you're time. shredded. Yeah, so right, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so it's totally shredded. fine. Yeah, wow. you you do frequently. Um, I feel like you uh, gas up my fitness more than anyone else on like, the app. <laughs> you don't have to look that good. You know what I'm saying? Your body's a wonderland. It's crazy. Yeah, like every uh, have you seen like gay uncle off? TikTok. I'm like Jesus Christ, this guy. I oh, put me to put me to shame. I'm like, I gotta be a ripped uncle now because yeah. Chris you Olsen do. is just. How do, you, how do you do it? You just go on walks, though. I FaceTime and oh you're like, on my evening walk. Every single time Megan FaceTimes me, I'm on my like. Did you do like I'm 100 push-ups a night or something? Walk. No, I love a workout class. I have a personal trainer. I see like usually like three times a week. Oh, good for you. Um, nice. ever, well, honestly, ever since I like in, in Florida after going to treatment, I started, I got a gym membership there and then just started using it as like, I think a main, like my coping skill. And then it just became a habit. Speaking of sober kings. Oh, uh oh. He's made it a whole year. Oh, I made it. Come on, clap at home right now. I'll clap for myself. Yes, as you One should, as you should. Sober. That's amazing. Yeah. That's he made amazing. it look easy. I did it. And I had a friend over recently, and every time I hang out with this guy, he brings up the same shit every time. He's like, wow, you're, it's a long time. So do you crave it? Do you, do you, <laughs> yeah. you just like don't think about it anymore? So if I put I go, one- what kind of a fucking yeah. question is that? I think about it constantly, dude. I have <laughs> dreams where I'm getting fucked up. Yeah. I, every time I have same. a meal, I'm like, ooh, I would love a glass of wine. Can't. Right, right. Oh, I do this. Would love a beer. I go golfing. Would love a beer. I think yeah. about it all the time. Why would you? Why? Why? Why are you gonna? So here, here's Veins a heads are up. Showing. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Don't ask me if I'm thinking about it. <laughs> He's like, if I put I something, spend <laughs> every minute of the day thinking right, about it. Right. Do you really? Yes. Every no, minute. No, you don't. Really? You too? No. Oh, no. I'm I was asking. Guys. I'm only a year in. Right. You're like what? Four. I'm yes, four and a half Sick. now. I think. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's craziness. Yeah, dude, it's pretty fresh. Yeah, and yes. also you had a lot of time 
in your adulthood to be doing it habitually. Like yeah, I, it's I all, had like, it was all habits. Yeah, yeah. I was only like two years of craziness and it wasn't really like, Oh yeah, I go out and like casually have a drink. I was like going really hard in college. And so now like, I feel like removed from it more. I didn't have time to like build in doing it with every activity yeah. I had. No, it was like after dinner, I'd have a uh, nightcap, but it would just turn into like half a bottle of whiskey. But so nice. now I just eat ice cream. Shout out Talenti. Yes. Talenti sent me a bunch Talenti. of ice cream. I eat a pint a day. Dude, body by Talenti though. Right. Body by Talenti. Hey, hey, hey. You it's say? great. You're great. What you're do you the, that's ice cream. Want to well, show yours? The I'll show mine. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Instagram and you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Well, yeah, um, I eat ice cream every day and that's what I do. Speaking of toxic, um, today <laughs> we're working on working toxic on. relationships. We sure are. Because she leaked her single. Please don't leave us. Say that you can keep. Yeah. You're going to sing it in other words. How much can we sing it? How much is that? The chorus. The okay. Chorus. Okay. This and love is bad, bad for, for me. me. Yeah. 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 So bad for me. Got yeah. <laughs> um, it went viral. She went viral, and we're gonna make her even go more more viral. viral. We're gonna record eighteen TikToks today. And I do have Monday. about eighteen ideas. Stop. <laughs> I do. We've officially hired Chris to help Guys, me with my TikTok. I am. I am literally on the team. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> her manager. You have, you have like eighteen. No, like we I paid have, him. I have, no. <laughs> I have like, like please be on oh, the you team. Do, oh, you're on the payroll. He's on the payroll. That's fucking <laughs> sick. Yeah, here, <laughs> he here's some I, like, yeah. I yes. wanted to pay you in Balenciaga shoes. <laughs> I think I'll Chris still accept me, like, that payment. Paragraphs of TikTok. He needs more Crocs. Uh, yeah, she was like, I'm so sorry. I was going to get you two more pairs of the Croc heels, they didn't but have I couldn't your size. find them. I'm they like, had every size fine. but yours. 42, that is craziness. Right? Yeah, it's whatever the biggest size is. Cause oh, big boy. <laughs> I'm a big boy. <laughs> they're, they're, they're women's shoes. They're women's heels. It's like they don't they're even go that big. <laughs> big boy. I will. Big boy. They did make. They made sneaker heels too. I saw. But they don't go past a size like forty. So I know. There's no way I can. Would fit you hate those. the chunky ones? No, I would love those too. Okay. Um, oh I don't God. want to give you something that you hate. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Blantec is hard. Anyways. Okay. Toxic. Toxic. Toxic and we want to start by saying um, what my therapist once told me is that I am not a therapist. Yeah. Period. We, yeah, <laughs> yeah. we yeah. are not. Don't know what She's we're She's like, that's so funny, Megan. Are you about? a therapist? I was like, no. These no. are just opinions exactly. and we comments have opinions, on life. But don't like take real therapy advice from us because we are not trained therapists. No. No, no. But we're having a but conversation. Had, That's the legal disclaimer, yeah, you guys. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <get sued. laughs> Do not fucking come for me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I leaked um, the chorus that I've been, I've been playing the song for a lot of our guests. And that's the one where they go, wow, surprising. Didn't you see that coming from you? And it's bad for me because it's like, it's just, it's feeling something. Usually I come out with a big upbeat banging. I yes. love myself. And this time I'm coming with, I've been through something. You have. Here it is. So I did when I was here, I, I did hear a different song. So if you watch my reaction, yeah. don't think it's from this ballad. <laughs> like, <"What?"> I'm like, <laughs> That's the second single. Like, that was Stick around. That's very different. <laughs> like, because yeah, if you put those two together, it, it would just be sense. very confusing. So like, whoa, this is what you were teasing everyone with. I was like, not everyone. Right, we're right. Um, right. No, we it's well, it's singles. a beautiful song. Thank you. It's yeah. quite good. Yes, and, and we can, you know, still do TikToks. But I did a very um, raw TikTok explaining what the song is about. And we we up at like two million views because we got the hits. We sure and do. And people really relate to it. It's it's incredible, but also sad and heartbreaking. But all the comments are like my mom or my sister or yeah. mm-hmm. or they related to their toxic love relationships that they were in, and they're like, I needed this song so bad, or I needed this in 2019, and they're all begging yeah. for it to come out, which yeah. will very soon. Yeah, it's tough. I feel like when you say toxic relationships, people immediately usually think about a romantic one, but a lot of the yeah. time it can be. Like it can be very familial or it can be a friend. Yeah. It can be like, like I feel like uh, friend breakups are so much Hard. more common as well. Yeah. Two, especially throughout the like period of life, I feel like so many of us are going through over the past few years. We had spent so much more time with ourselves, with our friends. So like 
going through those kinds of relationships can be just as hard as the romantic ones that frequently come to mind when we talk about toxic relationships. Yeah. When I got video treatments, like a lot of them were love, love, love. And I was like, right, but I want it to be a scenario where me and my brother could be in the shot or like me and a family member could be in the shot and it's not so specifically. Because you're saying, I know we're blood. I know we're blood. I know Um, we're But I also like that people relate it to their toxic relationships too. It's great. Yeah. I'm starting to learn a lot about myself, you know? Great. With the sobriety. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) And and looking back, right, I try not to uh, focus too much on the past, but it's good to look at, you know, um how you've acted in the past and what you have done to change for the better, right? And I yeah. realized I was the toxic one. Oh my God. But Same. I want the world to know that this song wasn't like, I wrote this for Ryan. That is not the case. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about like <laughs> my love life situation. Oh, like, oh interesting. Yeah. Now I was. Ooh, T, 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 T. Yeah. I mean, it's, it comes down to, I, I was just uh, a drunk boy running around. Yeah. I I didn't want anybody to 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 really know me. I guess so. Let I put out. up a wall, right? And um, I watched I, you do, you do this. You hear me yeah. stumble? <laughs> <laughs> I watched you I did, do that. <laughs> I watched you. Do. I, watched I couldn't you do that. get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Keep going. This is so good for you. Uh, <laughs> that, that got me good. I'm trying to. Remember what I was going to say. You were the toxic one. one. I was a toxic one. Yes. Put up a wall. Um, I feel like, yeah, my toxic trait would be, I think I would give someone a lot of attention and be like, this, this is great. This could last much longer than I want it to be in my head. Like Mm -hmm. I already decided pretty early on, like this isn't going to go anywhere. Yeah. But we're going to drag this out for fucking six months. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty shitty yeah um i know it's there can be a lot of like uh i i feel like especially after getting sober there's a lot of like guilt that can be associated with the past that you can carry forward and that can uh, occasionally impact your relationships today even when you are like the healthy version of yourself yeah um but yeah there were definitely times i like i would say more with with friends i didn't really hold too many like romantic relationships when i was drinking but with friends where i was absolutely the toxic one and i still carry a lot of that guilt into today and all you can really do is like continue trying to be a better person and like bring joy to everyone and like uh, i i recon one of the things that we learned in rehab was like sometimes if a relationship is too far like it's too irreparable if there's no like reconnecting with that person or if it would hurt them possibly for you to try to re-enter their life and apologize right all you can do is try to be a good person to everyone you meet from here on like from here on and try to basically do your living amends and only impact people positively the way you couldn't with the person in the past. Wow. And so that was actually one of my huge struggles when I started gaining a platform was I was like, now inevitably I might be re-entering some of these people's lives who never wanted to see me again. Like I have no control if I show up on their For You page or uh, if I show up on their I think about that with screen my or anything. Yeah, it's well, I mean, my God, they they must hear you like, all the time. Do you hear me? <laughs> and this is actually about you. <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, writing nah. songs about them. I th- and I was really like, it gave me so much anxiety to think about these people having to like see me again after feeling like I like ghosted a friendship or I just was really like kind of toxic towards them. And recently there've actually been two of those friends who I felt like I couldn't connect with who ended up reaching out being like, I would love to just like have a conversation with you. Obviously we went through a lot back in the day, like in high school to college, but like it really does seem like you've changed and like you're bringing a lot of light to the world. And I would love to be able to connect with you again. And I met with both of them and we both like both, had a very like emotional experiences reconnecting because it was like I I told them I I was never going to reach out because I didn't want to hurt you any more than I had in the past but I'm so glad you've done this for me and like if I can do anything to continue repairing our relationship <sighs> I will and I feel like that is all you can really do moving forward is just I've I 
made it my mission to make everyone who I come in contact with happy. And then the universe like paid me back by having them reach out to me and be able to actually repair the relationships that I hurt. So I've worked on getting myself out of being the toxic one if we're talking about toxic relationships. (laughs) But those were two like very impactful moments because it's like I had to face the past when I was the most toxic. Face the past. It's hard. It's It's very tough, tough, you know, because a lot of the time when you you, when you think about the times you weren't sober, it's just like all I want to do is avoid that that entire period of life in my head like yeah don't want to think about it at all I want to pretend like it didn't happen it can be you tough. have to you have to accept it but have you been in toxic relationships where the other person's toxic mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. yeah but i'm just i'm just big on blaming myself so maybe i, th- I don't know if it was them or i always just revert to me but that is That's a method sad. of being toxic to your towards yourself as well. Yeah, I was like, yeah. it's not all you, buddy. It can't no because every relationship, no matter how toxic you were, if they were like still with you, then there's there's something wrong on both sides, too. And I'm sure, like, yes, it's so much easier to sometimes just put it on ourselves. Right. But like, we can't take all the blame for anything because everything's a everything's a two way street. And granted, there are many things. You know, yeah. you probably definitely could have done better, but I mean, uh, kind of early on, the fast times of Megan at like the peak kind of fame. fame mm-hmm. I was definitely hanging out with toxic LA, you know, the trust fund crowd of just right. Is so that many the drugs, drugs were? so yeah. many drugs, all the penthouses, all the fucking after parties in the hills of just like terrible people these parties go on for like days yeah like all of a sudden it's 10 a.m i'm like what am, what am i doing again and like, then i just you know yeah you're like oh this is a toxic environment right um escape but it took a long yeah. time that that came with just like getting older you're like this is too exhausting i can't do this right. anymore right and then you yeah you start to sober up and you're like all oh, these people are monsters like they don't really care they just have like yeah funny money they don't, right. they don't give a shit money. about anybody. Funny they're like, money. they're like, oh, you're you're attached to this individual. You could probably do something for me. Yeah. Um, no, I again, I can't imagine uh, if I weren't sober and had this life this now life. because it would it would be so easy to yeah. literally spiral. Yeah. Whenever because I fell into the trap very quickly. There's no conse- There's little to no consequences. Like, uh, like um externally internally you may feel absolutely horrible about yourself but like you can kind of get yourself out of anything you can you always have money for more like things to get you fucked up yeah. it's that would be really hard to deal with yeah i mean in that situation they would just pay for everything so it was right. like even even worse like yeah because drug 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 addicts want to do drugs I'd with like, other people take my card and go nuts tonight that was like my birthday well, that was like oh at the club that was, like, that was sick that was like, like, my, well, I was like some bottles for everyone i wasn't Whoa. like get drugs you know no, you, can't get drugs. Like, you can't get drugs with that with that was car, just okay? that was just the, the job i'm, I'm up, telling you people no. just <laughs> right right they would just hand me drugs like that guy does drugs <laughs> they would just yeah. hand it to me i it wasn't a lot of like and then you would do drugs yeah and then you would do them right and then you're yeah you're kind of just like um. Yeah, you're just not aware. Not aware. No. Not aware of the. I just fell for all the bullshit. I had a lot of toxic like friendships though when I growing up. I think because I'm such yeah. a pushover. I had a couple growing friends. Up, yeah, you would, you would really put up yeah. with a lot. I'm like, I'm like, yo, she's like everyone. She's not a good person. My my uh, my parents would hate my friends. My brothers would hate my friends. And I was like, but they're good to me. But if I look back, I'm like, they were they bullied me. And, yeah. and they like used me and bullied me. And I stuck with them because I felt bad, you know? And, and this like, was before. Like, oh, that's before. Ever, everything. LA. Whoa. But we. I, I, mean, I like had a lot of friends like that. I guess where we grew up to, it was like a very toxic island. Yeah. But we. we uh, I know it well. We had a I, pool, you know? Kids, we did have my us. dad built us a pool, and that's how what, a so lot of people ki- wanted, to kids come over. wanted to come over. They wanted to be our friends. Uh, yeah. so I feel like I've always cool. had fake friends all my fucking life, right? Then, like, that's your toxic. Like, but then more as you grow up, is that why you guys don't leave the house? Literally. Literally. Now I'm like, like fuck we're everybody. We're our best friends. Fuck done. everybody. Yeah. Done. Yeah. I wow. like finally. I heard Meryl Streep say like, cut off those people in one of her big awesome speeches of like, cut the toxic people out, and I was like, okay, and I did, and like life got so much better. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, it was like a leech on me for so many right. years just like 
and I was just trying to help them. Suck the life they out suck of you. Suck the life yeah. out of you. I I do feel like I have a really small circle of friends now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Core, core. Yeah, core. never been someone to have like a like a huge amount of friends, but there were those people that you just kind of like talk to and stick with by association, and there there are definitely people I feel like I I think I watched a YouTube video on this once that there's like really only about five people. Yep. In yep. your closest I know exactly circle. What you're talking about. Yeah, that you can and really like have. You and, and they like them. Yeah, and they know and then there's ten around them that you still love and know dearly, yeah. but like that you're not gonna And that's fulfilling, you know? Yeah, like the the ten, but then after that like five and then even maybe before, but after the ten is like that you can't as humans, we don't have the capacity to literally give ourselves to that many people. Dude, I have one friend, you know her. She has like all these friends from all over the world, mm-hmm. some in New York and LA. And, blah, blah, blah. and I watch like a handful of them suck the life out of her. And she's like, well, yeah. I've known her since like we were really young. And I was like, right. but that doesn't mean she gets to treat you like shit. No. I don't get that. Yeah. So I get why people stay in it. It's yeah. easier. I think it's, it's easier, harder now with social media to really it's let, harder to run away. Oh my God. Yeah. To coast. Yeah. Let certain friendships kind of. It's it still like breaks my heart when I think about those people evolve. who like treated me like trash. I still get sad for them and I still get sad like, oh, I miss part of them. Yeah. But I know life is so much better and my life is better that I'm not, they're not in my life. And it's impossible to elevate yourself if you keep surrounding yourself with losers. Yeah. (laughs) At the end of the day, they're losers. Yeah, well, I mean, that that, like the quote that everyone says always is like, you are the company you keep. And so if you're surrounded by people who are just kind of like, doing all the drugs and just giving you the money or like um, bringing you down emotionally and and socially, it's not going to, nothing's going to help you. So you have to find that. Also, not to sound like a therapist, but my friend (laughs) said yesterday, (laughs) she was like my mom friend. So she's like Mm -hmm. smart. She was like, you know what I heard? (laughs) This is crazy. It's going to fuck you up. She was like, you are the person that you needed the most at a young yeah. age. Oh, I keep seeing that TikTok. You oh right now. God. Is it a TikTok? Wait a second. Is it a TikTok? I po- you just posted something. Did you yeah. post that? I posted something like that yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Really? It, it was like, it's like whenever I'm feeling like, um, like unlovable or unworthy or blah, 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 blah. I remember I'm actually talking about him and then it's, it's baby a, pictures of yourself. It's cute little because Chris. It's cute little baby Because it's true. It's like we forget. We can, in here. Yeah, we can be so mean to ourselves. But then you think about, imagine if you were to say that to your childhood self. Never would. Never would. Like I will, sometimes and when I'm driving so and I have like a an intrusive thought, I'm like, fuck you, you're so dumb. And then I'm like, and then I, but if I were to literally say that to my childhood self, that's, I cry. Yeah, that's truly the I, that will always get me emotional. My thinking therapist about said, my childhood self. "Think of intrusive thoughts like burglars. Like, yeah. would you let the burglars come Bang in? Goodness. Burglars, and would burglars. you say, hey, come on in, have a drink? Yes, like, come sit. sit down. Do you want some food?' Yeah. She's yeah. like, "No, you'd be like, get the fuck out of my house. Right. You have to think of them like that. I was like, oh, I like that's that. Fucking cool. Isn't I'm glad cool? I'm not alone because I feel like an insane person where I have conversations with myself all day, all night of like, yeah. stop thinking like that. Think like this. Do you talk out loud? No. Oh, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> I, I, no. You got dogs. You I like, made a TikTok once that was like going about my day and then I have an intrusive thought and it's me just like walking around my apartment and then I'm like, ew, stop. <laughs> because that's what I'll literally no, do. Yeah, I'm just I've like walking once, and then yeah. I'm like, ugh. A lot of people related to me. No, there no, were yeah. a lot of people who were like, wait, I do the same thing. I had no, <laughs> yeah. one el- no idea no one else did that. So yeah. it's much more common than we think. I'll do that or I'll like be like, ugh. And Daryl will catch me and be like, what? And I'll be like, let me tell you everything. You yeah, know? like, well, <laughs> yeah. this, 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 well, this, this. Well, I like, feel like, I thinking? don't know, I spend a lot of time alone. I feel like if I start talking to myself out loud, then I'm, I'm I, it might be the end for, for me. You. I don't know, I do it yeah. occasionally. I'm not like having full conversations. You're not like in the mirror. I'm, like, it's just like, it's just like little. a word or two. Yeah. Maybe I like, do that. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. What's, stop. Chrissy. Chris. <laughs> No. no, it's like it's like just like little phrases here and there yeah. to like get my mind back on track. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, so the song that I wrote about um, bad for me, it's it's about when those toxic people are actually in your family and you didn't choose them, mm-hmm. yeah. you didn't pick them. So there's, there's because, a little me in there because having like those friends that I, you know, not throw away but don't talk to anymore. It was easier there because they're not family members. Mm-hmm. It's really really difficult when it's like. Blood. 
mm-hmm. which is why I say in the song, I know we're blood, but this this love is bad. Yeah. Um, and I a lot of people online, especially in the last like since COVID and all that, I yeah. think a lot of families started to divide. Oh, for sure. And people lost a lot of family members on like the way they think of the world. For you know? sure. And so I think this song um, is already not out yet, but the chorus is helping a lot of people out there. Um, and they're sharing their stories, yeah, which is amazing. And I love reading all their stories. Yeah. So keep posting those because we love it. Um, but also. <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> yes. I loved what you just said there. <laughs> but but I, also- was like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like get into de- I've never had a song where I don't want to talk about what I wrote it about you know what yeah. I mean yeah so it's very tricky it's very tough hey, well, um, we, we, you can use me and then you know no it's I didn't write it about Ryan but I wrote it about a family member and it's super no it's tough. tough because I think about relating to this right now and then I think about my family also listening to that po- this podcast <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be so like, what the hell Chris? listen I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh parentals if you're watching this <laughs> Stop right now. Pause it. Pause. Pause. Um, and if you don't, don't text me about this. Okay. Um, but yeah, like family relationships can be really tough. One of the the hardest days in rehab was when it was like family week and they all had to come and we did like a, the, we, you all of the families are in a circle mm-hmm. and then the family who's working on it like who's working on it <laughs> go in the center of the circle. No, you didn't. And I just remember like it wasn't it like my it became about my parents' divorce. It became oh. about, like wow. it became about how my mom and I had a strained had a had a really strained relationship those like few years when I was really drinking a lot. It, it became about how my dad and my mom have like had never really connected and stuff like that. And so there were definitely times, even post rehab, that like familial relationships were not working out too well. I still go in and out with. Um, both of my parents of like having a strong relationship with them and then needing to set a lot of boundaries because I feel that it's it's tough like there are so many people who I think have such ease with their families it's just like we're just so we're all so tight-knit like I talk to this family member every day like we're so it's that and then it can make people who don't have that relationship with their families feel bad about things but it's like it's it's okay if that's that what your if that's not what your relationship is and if it would be hard for you if it would hurt more to try to make that because one family member is not capable then you don't have to kind of like push for that relationship your family can really be your chosen family and i feel like yeah. those the, those core group of five friends are like i i i consider them family at this point yeah. because in addition to the blood family like you have to have those people who um, know you inside and out and who you can talk to every day. And sometimes it isn't always like a blood relative. Yeah. Luckily, like most of my, my core group is my family members. Mm-hmm. Like my two brothers that live with me, my mom's over here every single day. Right. My dad's great, but there, there's a lot of, ah. And we still, we still it's, have issues, you know, it's not like yeah, a fucking, a fairy um, tale, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but the majority, we are very fortunate where it is It is good. Uh, we have a large family. We have a large family. Yeah. We're and all spread out too. Right. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of factors at play. But <laughs> okay. uh, your experience though with the rehab, I simply I can't. I hurt. Can't, okay, I well, well, I can't. I, 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 by the way, I can't feelings. imagine our family doing that with me. Could you imagine all of us in a circle? Sitting and you guys you? just like. No, <laughs> let me tell no. you. I don't know how you guys The amount that. of, well, no one has, like very few people in the fucking world have to do this where you have to literally yeah. like confront your problems. Like, first of all, the intervention that I had, imagine just like walking into your kitchen and you're like this for people at home as well and your entire extended family and like two best friends are there and they yeah. all you read did? letters we, this yeah, is we, euphoria we are pros yeah. at pretending that we're Nothing just gonna is wrong. Everything, everything's fine we're gonna that's ignore that family. we're gonna ignore that's that like the east coast it took, of our it took me literally to being like i think i almost well, died last night the, so now let's what right. i wrote this song this about is as a family member that everyone just like well, yeah walks on eggshells walks on eggshells never fine. talks about it never brings it up we all ignore it Right. And I finally wrote a letter with my therapist and I said, here's how I felt since I was a child around mm-hmm. you. And I love you and I don't recognize you. Yeah. And I hope that you can get help. Like I got help for my mental health. Like my right. brother's got help for his situation. Right. And I got no response. Wow. 
for months. Wow. And yeah. so I wrote that song the next day, hoping maybe I'll get a response. Never did. And I, then I wrote that song. I wrote the chorus immediately and we finished the song and putting it out. Like the response has made me feel so much better about yeah, my situation because everyone is going through that. And I, it's like all about the bass. I didn't know everyone was like that obsessed with like, or that insecure about their bodies like I was. And mm-hmm. now this is another song that I'm like, oh, everyone Everyone's has that family it. member? Sweet, I'm yeah. not alone. Yeah, absolutely. Well, okay. And obviously you can't go too deeply into that, but have you had romantic, toxic relationships in your past Yeah, for as well? sure. Oh yeah, I only had a few because um, at like 20, I was like, I'm finding my husband. And then uh, besides that, you're not worth my time. And how old were you when you met Daryl? 22. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Time yeah, is we're going flying. on six, five years. Oh my God. I don't know. Well. But, <laughs> or 23. I was 22. 23. Okay. I don't fucking know. Was it your golden year? <sighs> no. Could... Yeah. Was it? Yo, oh my God, because we have the same birthday. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. December 22nd. <laughs> The the uh, twenty two. Was I twenty three? I don't fucking know. Fuck. Anyways, I was I was that young. But my toxic relationship, I was like hooking up with someone on tour, and it was horrific because they never wanted to give me the time of day, and I. But they would always want to hook up. But it was someone like who was working on your tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A dancer. Listen, I don't know. I'm gonna dance with girls. No more I questions. <laughs> um, no, no, no. But like, like I... when I was first famous, no one wanted to be my boyfriend. No one wanted to oh. date me. I had a couple guys do that to me where they're like, I'll go to dinner with you and get paparazzi pics and I'll get, oh. and, and they're like, but I can't be committed to this because your fans are already like harassing my Instagram. And I'm like, oh my God, then why'd you fucking take me out? Like, what is this? Um, so, and I, but I was so lonely while touring and being by myself that I kept hooking up with that person and kept being like, please give me attention. What did they do on your tour? Not telling you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not Chris, telling you. Back up. So back what up. was their role? What was their <laughs> like, role what There's was only their so many roles. You can name. figure it out. Yeah. yeah so. Um, no, 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 I don't know. I don't know how a tour really works, so I don't know which roles there are. Can you just like list what <laughs> <laughs> the, no. the roles would be? Okay, no. well that's fun. So then after that, I was like, oh, that was toxic as hell. Never doing that again. Being treated like I'm gonna be treated like a queen that I am. That yeah. I talk about I in my feel songs. Like you've, yeah, Fuck you've you simply written uh, songs like, about that. Sir, you know. So I and know. then I met Daryl, who opened every single door for me, and I was like, "We should get married," you know. And then you did. I did. Good you guy. Thought you good did. Good guy. I was like, "Oh, he's a good guy." This is this is uh, scaring you. with you. Sure. Um, yeah, I okay. So you met him at twenty two. I guess I have to hurry up then. And no, sure. I was just like, <laughs> I, once you find that one that you're like, I want this forever. You're right. Did you know very early on? Yeah. Like how soon? Day six, we said, I love you. Day six. Because no, they, we hung out psych- every single day. We hung out every I told, single I told day. It, like, if, I did that, I would, if I did that, I would know like, oh, if I said I love you after six days, it's probably not going to last yeah. very long. <laughs> that's what, that's yeah. what I would immediately it think. Was, yeah. And he, because he, I, ugh, it was complicated. We were with Chloe Grace Moretz. She introduced us. Okay. And we went to sushi, like, because she was like, obviously, you guys are getting along. You, This is great. And she was like 19 at the time. She was oh baby, God. baby. We were like 21 or 20. So you're older, not, it's, not, it's really but not that But she was different. like, baby, baby. And I, we, we were all having sushi and he got up to go to the bathroom and she was like, so? I was like, oh, I love him. Wow. And she was like, oh, you're in love with him? I was like, well, don't fucking say anything, but like, I love this guy. Wow. wow. And then I went pee. She told him that I loved him. And was he like, do you love thing. her? Because I'll fucking kill you if you break her heart. And he's like, of course I love her. Please don't tell her. Oh, and my then God. And she told both of us. So we both knew that we loved each other. And then we said it really early. Aliens. And then all night long we hung out. And I was like, that is so say cute. it. And then he was like, I was like, is there something you want to say? And he was like, I'm enamored by you. And I don't, enamored. I don't know words. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I was okay, so aggressive. Okay, songwriter, give it to us. <laughs> and he <laughs> Immediately Googled puts it. it in her next song. <laughs> he, he Googled it for me and it was like to be infatuated yeah, to be like or in, in love Yeah, with. you're in love basically. And I was like, oh, nice. And I got up and went pee and slammed the door. You're always peeing. In the hotel. So dramatic, dude. <laughs> so you're dramatic. And like, I came back. In the hotel. I was in a hotel room because we were about to go on tour and I didn't have a house at the time. So he was in the hotel with me. Interesting. Okay. And then, and then I note. came back. I came back. <laughs> 
And he knew I was mad and he was like, okay, I don't want to sound crazy, but I, I believe I'm falling for you. And I was like, it's about fucking time. And he was like, six days in. Well, he's like, <laughs> well, <"What?"> my God. <laughs> he's like, you're going to say it back? I was like, I love you too. Oh. Yeah. And then on day 11, I left for tour and I was like, you want to come with me? And then I flew him out and then he never left. And then there's Riley. And now there's Riley. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretty wild. Yeah. That's, I'm aggressive and I oh I want it now, you know? Should we try and go through yeah. some of these uh submissions? Oh yes, we ask people about oh. their toxic relationships. Whoa, I we saw are not this, therapists, yeah. but we have opinions. Hit it. Um, we're not gonna give your full name though, because it's very personal and yeah, we'll just do intimate. We'll, Natasha. Natasha sent us here. Um I have a very tumultuous relationship with my mom. Mm. I love her and provide a lot of support for her, but always felt like I wasn't good enough. Like I never did slash do enough. I am a full-time special education teacher, wow. mother of two, wife to an overworked husband, and I care for my family and her since my dad travels so much and I am not enough. It has caused such a rife in my heart. I love her, I do, but to grow up feeling like you are never and have never been enough is a weight too heavy to carry some days. My God. Yep. Well, you know what's crazy is that I, I hear that a lot though. Yeah. Like as shocking and horrific as that is, I, I hear that a lot with relationships with moms, especially. Yeah. Like I never feel like I'm enough. I never feel like I'm making her proud. Well, I think unfortunately sometimes people have like kids like sometimes people's reason for having children can be like selfish and it can be like for um them to like when as the children the children grow over grow older it's just <laughs> for the parent to have someone who will take care of them and who will uh, provide for them and it's like that's not why children like the parent needs to be the one nurturing and taking care of the yeah. child and let, until the roles do inevitably reverse a little bit but i think like when I hear that, I it, it makes me sad and it makes me think like, is, is there any room for her to turn the energy that she's giving away to so many people back to herself at all? You know, like if you're not give if your mother is not appreciating or reciprocating any of that energy, don't keep giving it away in such a way that makes you feel so depleted. Like what yeah. can you do then? Okay. I always do this for my mom. I'm going to do this for me instead. Like, or usually I spend my entire morning helping my mom with something. She, I, it's possible she can handle whatever's going to happen one morning of the week. Maybe I can go like take myself like out just to get a coffee and like sit for 15 minutes and like listen to a song or something like yeah. that. You know, like start choosing you. It's the tiny things that really that's why when you call me, I'm always on a walk because I'm like that those afternoon walks. I will literally like move my day around to make sure I'm able to do that. So no matter how crazy my day is, I can literally at least like put wow. on my headphones. Most like most recently, listen to your new album and has it. walk. <laughs> because I'm like, I, you gotta be, you ha all of us need, if even if it's just 15 minutes, all of us need at least that time just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us do not give that time to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And Natasha, I mean, I'm impressed with everything that you're doing. I think you're more than enough. And maybe your mom, maybe it's like she doesn't think that she's enough and then outward projects that kind of right. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. energy. But um, she sounds like a superwoman to me, dude. Yeah, you sound like a superwoman. Yeah. It's also really sad when you realize your parents aren't heroes and that they're just people. Yeah. Yeah, that that's sucks. the that's the toughest <laughs> that's thing part. about like growing up. Yeah. yeah, and I don't want to say like the older generation is like meaner or colder, but they they're a little different. They're no, yeah, <laughs> they're and like little. they're they are also products of the way they grew up. Period. It literally we all like, just carry her our mother things maybe over. Never said I love you to her. Right. <laughs> In the know? same way that I can feel like I ha I can have resentment towards my parents for certain ways they raised me or ways they can even act now. I will feel myself occasionally doing the same thing in my relationships because you try to like you you resent you become the thing you resent you become sometimes. That. Yeah, my dad a lot growing up like 
he thinks he's helping by being the funny guy, but he'll like attack you. <laughs> Be oh like, yeah, you look. <laughs> it goes you're not a gonna wear that, hard. right? And I'm like, yeah. Well, like, father, <laughs> I was on the way out of the door. You right. Know? Like, so. I was going, <laughs> what happened? He hit a. B- <laughs> what happened? He went, Loud rock music just started playing in our ears. What oh, was I that? Hit a fucking he hit sample. a button, a sample. I'm I was so like, sorry. huh? I'm so sorry. But yeah, my dad, my dad would like try to help you by being like, like, don't be fat. Like, and he would make mm. jokes make about you being joke. fat. Yeah. Those and then jokes, I noticed. Those jokes dig deep. They dig deep and they last for life. They're tattoos. And I noticed I'll do that with Daryl sometimes. They're like, you're so emotional. And yeah, you have, like, a little, yeah. you have a little, little GT in you. Oh, and then he goes, oh, a little GT. No. Like, oh, no. I know. Sometimes I can feel like sometimes my mom can really ask like a lot of questions or like if I'm not ready to share something, it's just like can can be, again, my mom has stopped listening at this point because I told <laughs> her listening. to. But she can, she can occasionally be a little overbearing and I can, and like when I'm just like, I just need time to myself or I just need to like decompress or think and I will feel myself doing that to my friends or even past relationships I've had where like someone will need time or just like need their space and I'll feel I'll get panicky and be like well what's going on what can I do how can I help you or like can I um like how are you doing do you want to talk about something and it's like no, Chris, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, when you're in those moods, you just need someone to give you space and you want yeah. them to stop asking you questions. But you become the thing because you it. That's what that's you what know. You raised by, yeah. yeah. What else we got? Um, We got Lacey. Uh, Lacey. This, this one's wow. interesting here. Oh. A certain family member. Cons- uh, I fucked it up. A certain family member constantly brings up things in the past. Here's the parentheses. Uh, that are completely made up and shades someone who uh, really took care of them, lives a state away from their immediate family, always puts it out on social media about how their work family is better and kinder than their actual family, uh, did not call or acknowledge two of their siblings on their birthdays, expects everyone to drop everything whenever they decide to show up, maybe twice out of the year. So this is a very like selfish uh, family member here. Um Another family member always comes to their defense because they care about them, but we see right through it and we're tired of the uh, excuses. Okay, wow. this is why I wrote the song because there are a lot, <laughs> there are so many people in this world who make up their own realities. Like I make up some memories, you know? Yeah, make it tense. Sometimes uh, I'll be like, remember when I, I got I got grounded for that? Embellish. My mom's like, that was Justin. And she hold, like, she holds on, which I I, I, hold on I to used to get like really upset about this. I'm like, <laughs> she really holds on to certain moments in the past. And now I'm like, wow, eh, whatever, dude. That's it was in our family, her. but but yeah, we I've seen patterns of a lot of people do this. But I've I've met so many people who make up realities, and no, only a few who make up a whole scenario in their head of how awful someone was to them. And I'm mm-hmm. like, that you didn't even And then they're just like blasting them. on social and media. At least yeah, you never that's that shit. that's fucking bizarre. But it's, but that's the thing with Facebook, dude. People are just like putting all this nonsense out there. Like you need to go talk to somebody. Right. So my big thing was like, they have their own, uh, they have their own reality. Yeah. And they really believe in it. Perception is reality. Perception yeah. is reality. That's what Dr. Phil said. And yeah. I fucking hate it because- I want to say to them, your reality sucks right. and it's wrong. Right. It is just wrong. Yeah. And that's it is. Not People what, can get trapped in their own little universe. They can get trapped and like believe I, I, their reality. I was, I was yeah. trapped in this universe of like, I let my fucking ego get in the way. I'm like, I, why am I just taking pictures of Megan? Like, I could be doing anything. No, I can't. This is the best job <laughs> like, in the world. Your life yeah. is awesome. What the yeah. fuck are right. you saying? But I got, I got, I was like, oh, I, I'm almost like 30. Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Now I'm like sober. I'm like, dude. Let, I'm down this to travel good. again. Let's He's do, like, I'll pick up the camera. Yeah, I'll pick up the camera. Yeah. Like, but it took, you know, it took fucking maturing. Uh, oh, what's, what am I looking for here? Uh, maturity and... Um, time. Time, self, uh, per, not, what acknowledgement. What does Tommy say? Perception? No. What's he say? No, what's he... Where's the hard? What's he say when you, um, when you learn stuff now? I don't know. Your perspective now? We're so good at this. What, what is it? <laughs> Hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> we should have a podcast. Oh. Um, no, but, but the song was almost called Reality because I wanted to write a song that day of like, your reality sucks and I have to mm-hmm. run from it. And I was like, I like the alliteration with the R's and R's, like run from your reality. Yeah. That's why in the chorus, not to be like my song, but like, um, 
I must have started singing. I had to sing, run. sing <laughs> for us. It started, us. dude. Chris, you I had to just run from you your reality. Your yeah. That's why at the end of the course, it says, I have to run from your reality. I know we're blood, but this love is bad for me. Like that's the big rhyme. Yeah, because that's the biggest purpose right yeah i just i can't stand it and i'm like i told my therapist like but what if i hate their reality and it's yeah. not my reality so well, what that's can, a big big one for me yeah what can also be tough is when like you there's a loved one in your life or like someone who is one of your really good friends and they and you realize like as they're telling you a story they're you they're actually a little bit in the wrong as well. Like yeah. we all have different realities. My like, sweet I'm sh- husband. Yeah. <laughs> like literally yesterday he put this whole scenario in his head and I was like, you weren't there. Right. And he was like, I know, but this is probably how it went down. And I was like, no, no, cause I was there. Right. And I promise on our, our son that this is how it went down. Yeah. And he was, then he sat there and was so heartbroken because he's like, oh my God, I've been for days now, been right. so butthurt about this reality scenario that I made up mm-hmm. and it, it, I wasn't even there. Wow. I just made that up. And I was like, uh-huh, yeah. but proud of you for realizing that. Yes. You know, it's like a lot of people just live their life and get stay upset in their reality and you pulled yourself out. So and that job. is how to be like a really good friend or person or like partner in a relationship is when you're able to literally tell the person you love like yeah. I think you're actually wrong in this situation because <laughs> yeah. I love it's you so, so much. Hard, yeah. I want you to be better and I think like there is another perspective slash another reality to look at this yeah. situation from as someone who's like removed from it because yeah. sometimes when you're in it you're just like well this is what's happening and it's like Take a few steps back. It's funny because like we never ever argue or raise our voice in front of our kid. Yeah. They're a sponge and they can hear it. Of course. So I took that opportunity while giving him a bath, while giving Riley a bath, not my husband. (laughs) 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 I bet bet they will believe it. Yeah. Um, While giving Riley a bath, I was was like, this is the time I'm going to talk to him because I was like, I love you so much, Daryl, but you weren't there, right? right? Like <laughs> I was like giving, giving Riley a bath, mom. and I was like, he can't yell at me in this situation, <laughs> you right. know? Yeah, wow, that a that's trick. a beautiful way beautiful to work mother, this out. Mother oh, hack, <laughs> beautiful slash Fighting manipulation. For you, kid, you can't be angry. <laughs> You're being a motherfucker, and yeah, I did not like, I like how like, you acted. Daddy's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and Riley's just like, ah, <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. da, da, da. <laughs> Dude, that ah, fuck! I kind of want to see one of those conversations. You it's should great. secretly record. Daryl like fell on the floor and was like, "This hurts." <laughs> you actually should record. That would be a, an amazing TikTok. <laughs> ah, yes, I got one. I got How one. How to fight with your husband? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna put it in the notes for all my Megan ideas since I'm on payroll. I can't now. wait for y'all to see all these TikToks. <laughs> um, Megan. That's why I got my hair did today. Dimitri did my hair. Shout out Dimitri. We miss my you, we love you, my Enzo. All right, I think we do like one more submission. Yeah, one more smish. Because yeah. um, we're not good at giving these guys advice. We, we are just not. Know. We I'm are so not. Sorry. This one, this one. <laughs> well, you know what? I so feel like we're I feel like something. we're relating to them. We're, relating we're mirroring them. it back. Yeah. And it's really, it can be so comforting when you share an experience to hear someone you're be not like, alone. I get what you're, yeah. I yes. get that situation thing. situation like that. This I've never heard of. Uh-uh. And this is fucking bananas to me. I thought, I thought this was... Very unique situation. Uh, toxic uh, relationship. Okay. Uh, Lauren sent this in. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to read it? No, nope, just take your time. My ex of six years had an Excel spreadsheet of finances, which he had several columns. One column was labeled my name. Oh. And he had every dollar value that he had spent on me, even fast food. After we had gotten mm. McDonald's one night, he ran to his computer to add the total to the Excel spreadsheet. No. No. I asked him why he was putting that money in and why under my name. And he told me it was because it was part of uh, an equation. And if he weren't dating me, he would never have to spend that extra money. In the end of our breakup, I found out that when he was mad at me, he would calculate all the expenses under my column to see if he wanted to break up with me, uh, depending on the total. No! Well, the good um, news is this is announced. how insane is that? That that is insanity. That's a that's crazy a, that's person. an insane person. And I also want to have a conversation with him. I want to be like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, what started this? I feel like his dad's yelling at him, like, his son, da- what are you spending on? Yeah. Like, yeah. Show me yeah. your Excel for sure. I'm the complete opposite. If I if I like it, I'm 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 into it. 
I spend money. I love spending Not money on oh, other yeah. people yeah, yeah, yeah. specifically. Oh, yeah, 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 it's the best. Like, I'm I, terrible. That's my money. joy. I'll spend more money on other people than I probably do for yeah. myself sometimes yeah. because I'm just like, I want all of us to yeah. come on. Like, let's I want to buy my friendship. Me and no, <laughs> me, it's, <laughs> me and my best friend uh, from high school. Literally, we went shopping on Monday just cause, and I was like, come on. What do you want? I mean, Megan, yeah. Megan would do that all the time. If yeah, we're stuck in the I airport, know. she's like, we're going to Gucci. I'm like, <laughs> oh no, my God. And you're I'm like, a good okay. friend. No, but yeah. literally some days I just want his company. And I would be like, we're going to the mall. Come with us and I'll get you whatever you want. Like, oh my God. Hang out I'm with like, me, fuck brother. yeah, I'll drive. <laughs> yeah. I pay for friends. I like yeah. it. And it so, makes me feel good. And so when, whenever I come in contact <laughs> with someone who's very, I actually don't really keep people around me who are like that because I feel like we under like it's kind of underestimated how like people when when they get really stingy with money it can really affect a relationship yeah. especially when you're in like a romantic relationship with oh, them my God. i feel like it feels so good for on both sides usually or it should to be like i want to do this for you with yeah. no strings attached yeah or and then have the other person do something for you as well with no strings attached like and then but when when it's literally documented it's and it's literally McDonald's McDo- on the that fucking too. Like, spreadsheet. McDonald's. Like what? No, I had like something that's a, like, that's a huge red flag. In chicken. Media. I had like a comp. No. You know how like when you're an artist, you sign to a company and everything you do is like, um, it's like recoupable or like you they spend it for yeah. me and I gotta pay it back. I was enjoying I had, saying recoupable. Do you have to recoupable. do you, so? Like, do, can you do not make money until it's fully paid back? I make money through Instagram. Like, I make <laughs> money everywhere else, but my, but music. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Music brought Still? me here. Yeah, music builds the brand. Builds totally. the brand. Band and is Megan Trainor. You know, but like. But like streaming. you would say, but, this is, I, I will actually. This will be a later yeah, okay. conversation. That's a whole but other no, no. Thing. So I remember going to like breakfast with someone from a company like that. Yeah. And on the receipt, I got a muffin, and they wrote down dollar thirty nine muffin <laughs> to like make me pay for that later. And I was like, you could just get me breakfast. Oh like, my god. <laughs> like oh no i was i thought yeah it's yeah. weird and i think because i've had experiences like that where people have like been really stingy and been like you got to pay for this which i get and i get it also if you're like going through a tough time like oh my yeah, god of yeah, course yeah. like yeah i'm not i don't ex- i never expect someone to pay th- for things for me yeah but i think that's why now that i've like made now now that i'm able to support myself I never want to put someone else in that position. So I'm just like always like, I got you no matter what. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got a friend, my buddy Rob. I I can't pay him back for anything. I try. Really? I just send him money and he just like, I guess he doesn't know how to use Venmo. So he's like, fuck, I don't know how to send this back. I was like, well, there you go. Gotcha. Gotcha. He gets pissed. Like also those those old friends that I didn't keep, it was like weird with money. It was like, yeah. Yeah, Well, Megan will pay for it, you know? And like, oh my God. My one friend that I'll have till I'm 108 on my deathbed, she like fights me on paying for stuff. Yeah. She's, and like, it's, it's nice. No, she's just saying, yeah. It's, (laughs) she's like, stop. Cause it's, it's nice to do that when it's someone who's not (laughs) expecting it from you. Once it becomes expected, but I don't think this girl in her relationship was probably expecting this man to pay for everything. He's the devil. Yeah, that that isn't <laughs> yeah. good. But once it becomes expected of you, then it's like, mm, we should. And they be dated for six lit- years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I'm glad you're out of that. Yeah. Don't go back to that. What was the grand total after yeah, six right? years? How's like, did Mario, you find man? out when? <laughs> and did he break up with you because the grand total got <gasps> too high? We need an update. I think that's. I think is what it came down to. Oh my god! Very unfortunate. That that is toxic relationships. Um, wait, any so like. Is there like are we help, are we helping anyone? Is there is there any tips on how to get out of a toxic relationship? Talk to a therapist. Tell you what it is. I would say talk to a therapist. I think there. I've been in therapy for so long, and my therapist always knows when my relationship should end before I do. And it takes then a few moments after that, like to be like to really also come to that yeah. conclusion because, like. It, like everyone says, it's impossible to just tell someone in a toxic relationship, like, you should just leave. What are you doing? Yeah. Because it's you're in a, a completely different reality with yeah. that person. And sometimes you feel so unsafe that the only way to feel safe from that person is by staying with them. Yeah. And so I would say, like, take your time. Mm-hmm. Keep the loved ones who are not toxic close and know that, like, there will be a way out at some point. Also know that trust your gut. Mm-hmm. Your gut's right. 
If something yep. feels wrong, it's probably wrong. And also people have gotten out of relationships like that. Um, toxic relationships in general. I've gotten out of a bunch of them and I'm way happier. Yeah. Like there is the other side. Yeah. There is another side and, and it's scary and it feels like it's the most impossible thing. Right. But I'm I'm great. Yep. And sometimes I'll get sad about them, but like for the most part, it's a much better, easier, happier life for me. Right. And me first. Always. Yeah. And if you were like myself and just you are the toxic piece of shit, just look yourself in the mirror and fucking fix it. Change it. <laughs> yes. Sometimes Get you some suck. Help. So bad. You go, wow, I fucking suck. And then mm-hmm. switch it up. We have a good idea for you. We Folks at home. Folks at home. Uh, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed this episode, um, my my team really put this really cool cam. Really. My team put this cool campaign together. Okay. Called My Therapist. <laughs> My therapist told me to dot co. That's a website. I sound like Dr. Phil. <laughs> okay. um, it's a it's a website that you can go to. And um, it's basically my therapist told me to write you a letter. And it's a chance and a platform and a place for you to write out your letter to that person in your life. That's super toxic. That here's everything you want to say to them in an anonymous, safe place. We're not going to send it to the person. That's okay? beautiful. So it's just a great place to. Throw up your emotions. Yeah, yeah. Right? and I, I've done this before. I had a lot to say to a certain individual that I never was, it was supposed to say. No. Good. It's a lover. It's a lover. I wrote it, uh, everything I wanted to say. And you never said it to And then I fucking burnt it. Because it's good. It's therapeutic for you. You got to, bur- so this is not like burning it away, but you're just writing into the abyss. I see this. Yeah. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. It should be up now. So my therapist told me to dot go. This is uh, heavy. Okay. It's a big computer. All right. Megan oh my God. Trainer <laughs> called me a bottom <laughs> on her podcast. For Asked the me world what I was. To see. <laughs> <laughs> told the world I was a bottom. Me- <laughs> and then I posted it on TikTok. It and was it never viral. confirmed. <laughs> It was not confirmed. Yeah, the confirmed. comments are like, well, Christopher. <laughs> well, <laughs> still not confirmed. And Watch there, the episode. There, yeah, there was actually a TikTok on, uh, that I posted on Not Olsen Chris. There's a top or bottom filter, and it's at 100% bottom. And a lot of the comments are, Megan finally got her answer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So good. I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> so the website is a great place for you to go um, therapeutically to just throw up your letters. Yeah, yeah feels good. Up. Just like I did just then. Yeah, yeah. feels good. <laughs> um, my therapist told me to dot co. And then um, we're going to link some mental health resources right at the bottom. Um, just because it's um, Mental Health Awareness Month. It was just Mental Health Awareness Month. Now it's PTSD month, I've heard. Wow. So, and, pride. and Pride. And Pride all the same time. Yes! <laughs> so, Fuck yeah. <laughs> check out that website and um, get in your feels. It feels good to get it out. Yeah. It does. Right? Right. Yeah. This is great. I love you. This is great. I'm so sorry for, for everything that I've done. Oh. oh. This made- is a beautiful family moment. Cry, one of you. I can't cry. <laughs> My makeup is Amber. <laughs> My makeup's too pretty. I can't stop. Um, thank you for coming back. <laughs> this is weird. Um, you're Thanks for coming so back, Chris. literally anytime. God, you're anytime. so strong. <laughs> He's so I'll just buff. I'll just be I'll just be the next host. Yes. We'll you have should. guests come over there. Over there. Yeah. Honestly. It's fine. It's Please. My bad side, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. We that's love the you. I get it. I see yeah. it. You see it. All right, love you guys. Thank you for listening, right. watching, working Thank on you. a pod. All socials, Chris Olson, at Chris, at Chris TikTok. At Chris, at not Olson Chris, at Chris Olson on Instagram. We've been friends since we were eight. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.